In the bipolar world, under the Cold War, where you had the United States and the Soviet Union, the dogma then was mutually assured destruction, which I love that acronym, MAD. There was the feeling that either side understood that should they initiate a nuclear war, that the retaliation would be so complete that neither side would win, and thus a deterrent. With the emergence of terrorism and the increased spread of nuclear technology, that model no longer works. I'll be hosting a new series, Reinventing Nuclear Security, which uses the new medium of group video to explore and come up with groundbreaking new ideas around nuclear safety and security in the next decade. At this very moment, the funding and support and general consciousness of nuclear security issues is at probably an all-time low. We are at an interesting moment where N-Square is poised to bring more people to the issue, create new ideas, and fund the most promising ideas so that we can actually make change happen. I'm a former covert CIA operations officer. In my career with the CIA, my expertise focused on the nexus of terrorism and nuclear weapons. For someone to achieve a nuclear capability, they can either buy it, build it, or steal it. And I was involved in aspects of all of those. I tried to make sure that the bad guys, whether they were terrorists, rogue nation states, did not get any sort of nuclear capability. And I am very grateful now to be affiliated with the Santa Fe Institute. The Santa Fe Institute was founded 30 years ago by physicists from the Los Alamos National Laboratory because only about four hours south of here is a site, it was called the Trinity Site, where the very first nuclear bomb was exploded. This was part of the Manhattan Project and it was in July 1945, just prior to loading the completed prototypes on the Enola Gay and sending them off to Japan. In this series of virtual roundtables, we'll be bringing people together from all over the world to look at the most important issues about paving the way to a future free from nuclear risk and making sure that we avoid any nuclear catastrophe in the meantime. The people we bring together will be a combination. Some will be nuclear security experts, and still others will be bringing their expertise in technology entrepreneurship, the sciences, and the humanities. If a nuclear weapon were to go off in any city in the world at any time, the consequences would be devastating. People would be calling for martial law. And here in the United States, the things that we take for granted in the Bill of Rights and our Constitution would all be set on a shelf because people want to feel that they would be safe from another attack. The chaos, the uncertainty, the anxieties, the disruption to our economic system would be devastating. Unfortunately, I believe that that possibility is more likely now than it was, say, 20 years ago, before the collapse of the Soviet Union. Nuclear security and climate change are, to my mind, the two most existential threats facing human civilization today. The question is, how do we get to zero? I think for the average citizen, they feel, what can I do? This is such a hugely intimidating area. And in fact, the entire history of arms control in the nuclear realm has always been dominated by elder statesmen, frankly, older white men. I would love to see a reboot in this whole area. I'm excited about what's possible when young people and leaders from around the world agree that nuclear weapons are a net risk to the globe and they are immoral and intolerable in a humanitarian sense. But I'm most hopeful about the fact that we now have ways to innovate across borders and domains and fields of knowledge that was never available to us before. I think there's a huge opportunity here with the Reinventing Nuclear Security series to bring together people from different walks of life, really smart, maybe they haven't spent 
spent their entire professional lives thinking about nuclear security issues, but they definitely have something to contribute. You can follow the progress of the series through watching each 90-minute episode or by taking advantage of the edited pieces that we'll do that'll highlight and focus on the most compelling ideas that come out of each episode. By the end of the series, we hope to have developed some breakthrough new ideas that N-Square will fund uh, to the next stage of development. And we expect to see some new partnerships develop between folks who would never otherwise have come together around nuclear security issues. We're absolutely capable of inventing our way out of this nuclear era. And we're certainly capable of developing the innovations we need right now to make sure that we don't have a catastrophe on our watch. Thank you.